and how much tooth structure do we really need? So let's take a look at how it's accomplished and how we started doing this out. The first thing you have to do, and this is a must, this is the only must I'm gonna tell you. It's essential that all of the case removed, all the restorations that are present are removed, and all prior to the surgery. The last thing you want to do is a dentist call you up and say, my patient has decay under a crown margin, give me some, give me some room to grab onto. Well, you don't know what's under that restoration. So if you give them root, uh, space to grab onto that tooth or access it, but they go to take off the restoration and you find there's a lot of decay under there, you're in trouble because you got to do another surgery. 